I'm Jerry Custon, I am Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce, and as of uh, July the 1st, I will no longer be the president and CEO. We'll turn that uh, job over to Jerry Peruzzi, and I'll be doing something a little bit different. Thanks, Chair. Yes, I'm Jerry Peruzzi. I will be the president and CEO of the Upper Tampa Bay Chamber of Commerce. That took effect July 1st. Jerry Custon, over the past several years, has been working real hard as, at bringing in a manufacturers association, and it's gotten to the point where it's bigger than the both of us. So Jerry is going to take over for the Manufacturers Association, and I'll be running the day-to-day -day operation of the chamber. Jerry, tell us a little about that. You will actually, new title will be uh, Director of Business Assistance, Manufacturing, and Education. So we're going to try to bring all three together. Uh, the folks generally don't realize the value of manufacturing in our community. It's uh, it's very big in the Tampa Bay region, which I include uh, basically four counties: uh, Pinellas, Hillsborough, Pasco, as well as Hernando. So we have manufacturers from all of those. Uh, our area is about, represents about a quarter of the manufacturing goes on in the states and they're very valuable to economic development in that they're uh, basically uh, they pay good wages, about 30 percent over the norm, uh, generate two to three additional sub public sector jobs to do that. And the real main thing that makes them an economic development driver is that most of their business base is not local, which means they're selling out of the area and out of the country and they're bringing new money in. So for all those reasons, they're very valuable to us. One of the biggest things that they uh, require as a skilled workforce so that brings in the educational component and, and of course the business assistance that we need to do uh, with our members uh, is also valuable to them in terms of access to capital through uh, economic development incentives and grants and things of that nature so we're just going to be tying that all together and that's another indication of uh, how innovative we are as far as i know uh, we're the only chamber in the state doing this type of thing i know we're the only chamber in the region doing that so just another indication of how innovative that we are and, uh, and the range of services we provide as a small chamber. One of our goals as a chamber is, of course, economic development because that helps all businesses and the, and the city. So we've worked hard with that and now the Manufacturer Association is going to make that a little broader field. You've also got uh, some education involved with that with Dream It, Do It and, and the schools that you're involved with. Tell us a little about that. Yeah, well, Dream It, Do It, we're trying to get manufacturers into the high schools, into the middle schools to uh, begin to show children a career, a career path that exists uh, to, to well-paying jobs. That, uh, and with technolo technology innovations, if they get into uh, a career after school rather than going directly to a higher education, there's always the opportunity to go to higher education and develop their technological skills and, and things of that nature. So we're just trying to build a pipeline, and it's uh, very interesting, uh, Hillsborough County, on its own has uh, put put off uh, put forward about, about a million dollars to build manufacturing academy over there and the governor's put money in this year's budget to bring in a german skills initiative so there's a lot of activity going on across the uh, across the board uh, with uh, education that ties ties together with that as you can see we're growing it's an exciting time for us and you and we're glad you're part of it Hi, I'm Case Fessler from the Fessler Agency, and we're hosting the Morning Mingle this morning. Um, and the question was posed to me, why do we host the Morning Mingle? And the, the, the main function of the Morning Mingle for us is to build new relationships with local businesses and to strengthen existing relationships with existing businesses. And what we're hoping to do is create a stream of possible referrals from our neighbors in business and our friends in business uh, so that we can all grow together and and it has been a very successful thing for us in the past we have two of our clients here today that we actually met at previous morning mingles um, just a coffee and a donut exchanged some names and uh, before you know it they became clients of the Fessler agency and, and that is exactly what we're trying to do and, and hopefully they will not only refer clients to us but refer local businesses to the chamber which is which is what the whole function is all about I'm Joseph Cummings I work with Pro Auto we have three different facets to our business we have a collision center called Pro Auto Collision we have a mechanical side called Pro Auto Care and least but last we also have Action Towing I take care of the collision side of the business Pro Auto Collision and this is when people come in, they've had an accident, I'm here to greet them, I'm here to take care of them and handle all their needs. We will start by going through their accident, what needs to be done, what will be done, and how the insurance company will handle everything. Upon completion, then we will go through the vehicle together and that we will share everything that's been done to the vehicle and get it taken care of. Um, 
Nice thing about working this business is I always meet the nicest people by accident. Hello, my name is Michael Lamondo. I've owned and operated Amici's Cater Cuisine for the last uh, 30 years. We're a full service off-premise catering company. We're one of the preferred catering companies in over uh, 50 reception halls in the Tampa Bay area. We pride ourselves on uh, using the freshest and finest ingredients. Uh, we do artistic presentations. We provide impeccable service. Uh, some of the events we cater are uh, weddings, bar mitzvahs, corporate events. We do anniversaries, birthday parties, going away parties, cocktail parties, theme parties, pretty much any, any occasion that you have that you might want to party. For more information, you can either give us a call at 813-855-1100 or you can go to our website, which is www.amichiscatering.com. And uh, if you want to have an amazing event, leave the worry to us. We'll, we'll, we'll make you very proud. It's a new stay at the Courtyard by Marriott Oldsmar. My name is Stacy Keene. I'm the director of sales here at the hotel. And our new state-of-the-art lobby is a personal arrival experience with pedestals so our front desk can reach out and connect with our guests. The bistro is open for breakfast and dinner daily with serving a full liquor bar and nightly happy hour specials while serving Starbucks coffee all day long. Our guests can enjoy watching their favorite game from one of our comfortable pod areas or from one of our communal areas. It's the perfect place to eat, drink, and connect. And not only are we open for our valued guests, we welcome the public to come in and experience the all-new Courtyard by Marriott Oldsmar. Our beautiful outside terrace is the perfect place for our guests to gather with friends, family, and co-workers while enjoying their favorite glass of wine or Starbucks coffee and it's the ideal setting for a beautiful outside wedding ceremony. So the next time you're planning a meeting or event, think of the Courtyard by Marriott Oldsmar. And remember, it's a new stay at the Courtyard by Marriott Oldsmar. My name is Hian. I am the manager here at Hot Tuna Sushi Bar out in uh, Oldsmar off of Tampa Road. Uh, we are an exquisite sushi uh, bar uh, we offer more than just sushi. We offer uh, kitchen food for the non-sushi eaters. We have a great environment here, um, a family environment. Uh, we also have a kids menu. Um, we have great specials that run Monday through Friday. For the non-sushi eaters, we do offer multiple items from the kitchen, such as uh, steaks, pork chops, lobsters, and scallops. In fact, many customers feel that we offer one of the best steaks in the Tampa Bay area. All of our items on the menu are made fresh daily. In fact, we offer over 30 different sauces that complement the sushi. Here at Hot Tuna, we have a contemporary environment, very modern, uh, very hip in a way. Um, we like our customers to feel very intimate with the sushi. Uh, Monday through Friday, we do offer sushi happy hour specials that run five to seven. Uh, it's four dollars on select classic rolls, one dollar one piece nigiri, and two dollar two piece sashimi. So typically, you're getting half price, which is an awesome deal. Uh, and then Monday through Friday, if you want to come back later on in the evening, if you don't have time to come in earlier from eight to close, we do offer half price appetizers as well as drink specials. Uh, two for one sake sangrias and sake teenies, two dollar house wines, three dollar import beers, and two dollar domestic beers. If you're new to sushi, I invite you to come out Monday through Friday from five to seven or eight to close to experience how good sushi really is. Hi, my name is Jessica Cleveland and I am the chairwoman of the Bay Area Young Professional Group. We are here today at Leo's Italian Grill for our June monthly happy hour social. As you can see, everyone behind us is networking. Um, we are a young professional group that's made up of five chambers. It is Tarpon Springs, Palm Harbor, Dunedin, Safety Harbor, and Upper Tampa Bay. Our group consists of members that are aged 21 to 40 that are looking to become a better young professional, become a, a leader in the community by doing volunteer projects, uh, coming and meeting like-minded people that want to get to know each other and kind of network together. You want to get involved, we've got things for you to do. We've got volunteer projects, networking, um, various different things. We've got a lot of cool things coming up for the year, so keep in touch with us and we'd love to have you join us and be a part of our group. That was a hard round of golf. Yeah, it was. Who won? Hmm, it looks like I won. I got through the tunnel, over the bridge, and out of the castle, 
And remember, you got stuck in the elephant's trunk. Speaking of the elephant's trunk, have you heard about R2E? Yeah, everybody knows what that is. It's the membership program for the Chamber of Commerce. You just refer a prospective member and the Chamber signs them up. You get $25 in Chamber bucks to use for the Chamber dues, banner ads, video spots, whatever. Well, do you know you can make even more if you sign them up and bring in their membership check? Duh. Yeah, everybody knows that. If you do all the work, you can get $40 cold cash or $60 in Chamber bucks. Well, do you know why they had us dress up in golf attire for this spot? No. Why? Because at the end of July, everyone who refers a new member will have their name put in a drawing to win a free round of golf for four at the golf club on Racetrack Road. And did you know that the golf club is Tampa's newest, hottest, and most innovative club? They mix the chance to play some of the world's best courses like Pebble Beach with chic atmosphere of a martini bar to create the ultimate club experience. So all we have to do is refer a new member in July and we have a chance to win? That's all you have to do. What are you doing? I'm going through my contacts to see who I can refer to join our chamber. Oh, 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 o